Okay, here's our first set of data. Find the following for this data set. And notice, did I put this data set in order? What do you think? Oh, I'm so mean, it's not in order, so let's go put it from least to greatest. So here's my 12 that I'm gonna write first. 14, looks like it's next. 15, uh, 17, 17 occurs twice, there's my mode. Uh, then 18, 19, 20. I'm gonna double check that I got all my data. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of data. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Always double check your data. So my mode, my most often occurring, I already noticed it when I was writing it, is 17. Next, I'm gonna split up the data. Since it's an even set of data, we're gonna have to do some averages possibly, so let's go take a look. Four on one side, four on the other. My Q2, or my middle, is in the middle of 17 and 17, which is just 17. My middle of the first half, in between 14 and 15, you add those and divide by two, which is 29 divided by two, which is 14.5. Go ahead and do that on your calculator if you're not sure how I got that. And then middle of the second half, that's my Q1, here's my Q3, in between 18 and 19, do you see that that's gonna be an 18.5 as well? But if you're not sure, you just wanna double check, you add that to take the average, divide by two, that gives us 20, 37 divided by two, which is 18.5. So it is possible to get decimals in our data set. Next is the minimum and maximum of my data. There's my minimum. There's my maximum. My mean is where I'm going to add these all up and divide by 8. So for example, 12, I'm doing this on my calculator, plus 14, plus 15, plus 17, plus 17, plus 18, plus 19, plus 20. So when I added all of these up, 17 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 20, and I divide by 8, I get 132 divided by 8 because there's 8 pieces of data, and that gives me 16.5. That is my mean. And notice it's exactly 16.5, so I don't have to put the bots. My interquartile range is the Q3 minus the Q1. So for this one, let's do the work down here. My Q3 minus my Q1, that was 18.5. Okay, so 18.5 minus 14.5, grab your calculator and do that. And 18 minus 14, do you see that that's just going to be 4? So my interquartile range is 4. Now, for the outlier test of this one, uh, there's some formulas up at the top that we need right here. So lower outlier is Q1, 1 is minus 1.5 of the IQR, and then the upper outlier is Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. So let's go write these down for outlier test. And so Q1 minus one and a half times the IQR and Q3 plus one and a half times the IQR. So my Q1 we got as 14.5 and my IQR was 16.5. My Q3 was 18.5 and my IQR was 16.5. So grabbing my calculator, one and a half times, so 1.5 times 16.5. This is going to be 24.75. In both cases, it's always the same there at the back. And then on this one, we're going to subtract 14.5. So 14.5 minus 24.75. I'm going to get a negative number. So for sure, I don't have any numbers lower than that because I don't have any negative numbers. 18.5 plus 24.75. Do I have any data bigger than 43.25? So taking a quick peek, my highest data is a 20. So there are no upper outliers because there's no data bigger than 43.25. 20 is my max. Over here, there's no lower outliers 
because there's no data lower than the negative 10.25? So the answer is outlier test, there are none. Last, we draw the box and whisker plot. We start the box at our Q1, 14.5. We end our box at 18.5, connect that box. And then our median of this data was 17. So that's gonna be a little bit closer to here. So then call that the Q2, call this the Q3, call this the Q1. There's my box of the box and whisker. Now we're gonna make the whisker go out to 20, my max, and make the other whisker go down to the min, which in this case was at 12, yeah, 12. That's it, that's your box and whisker. The box and whisker goes from the Q1 to the Q3. Don't forget to write the medium Q2 in the middle. And then your whisker goes out to the max and your whisker goes down to the min. We don't have to draw any outliers on this one because there are no outliers. That's it for data set one. Pause yourself, try data set two, and then there'll be a video to follow for Friday for data set two and data set three.